The most haunting murder case of the 20th century involves the untimely demise of one of Hollywood's most beautiful actresses, who was eight months pregnant, at the hands of a cold-blooded killer. This case is ranked among the most horrifying murder cases of the 20th century and still sends shivers down the spine of many, even upon hearing it for the first time. So, what makes this case so terrifying? What exactly is the Manson family cult? Let's find out now. Sharon Tate was the eldest daughter of Doris and Paul Tate. With Paul being a military officer often away from home, Doris single-handedly raised the children. From birth, Sharon possessed a rare and captivating beauty. At just six months old, she won the title of Tiny Tot Miss Dallas in the summer of 1943. As she grew older, Sharon continued to win beauty pageants in Europe before returning to the United States to pursue her ambition of becoming a Hollywood star, often dubbed as the second Marilyn Monroe of American cinema. However, life was far from a fairy tale. At the age of 17, Sharon was secretly raped, a trauma she kept hidden. Life in the showbiz world was fraught with challenges that the young girl could not foresee. Sharon embarked on passionate relationships with French actor Philippe Fourquet, actor Steve McQueen, and then became engaged to renowned hairstylist Jay Sebring. Despite her engagement, Sharon fell under the spell of director Roman Polanski and broke off her engagement with Jay to follow the call of love. Little did Sharon know that this decision would plunge her into a tragic saga of pain, tears, and ultimately, a brutal murder. On January 20th, 1986, Sharon and Polanski tied the knot. After a brief period of living together, Sharon became pregnant, but Polanski showed little interest in caring for her, instead indulging in the company of other women, even suggesting Sharon to abort their child. When Sharon was eight months pregnant, she was forced to live in the Benedict Canyon mansion, with Polanski often absent, leaving her alone with a few friends including her former fiancé Jay Sebring, Abigail Falger, Stephen Parent, and Wojtek Friedowski. Charles Manson was the son of a prostitute, and his father's identity was unknown. As a child, Manson was sold by his mother to a bar, then later redeemed by a relative. Manson's rebellious nature landed him in juvenile detention, despite having a high IQ, 109 to 121. Instead of pursuing education and virtuous pursuits, Manson used his intellect to plan a series of robberies, rapes, and murders, eventually forming his own cult. Manson employed rhetoric about sex, drugs, free love, and music to attract a devoted following, predominantly comprising young, disillusioned individuals, including many young women and teenagers dissatisfied with society. Four of Manson's followers were directly involved in the savage murders orchestrated by him. On the evening of August 8, 1969, Sharon Tate returned home with friends after declining an invitation to a party, while her husband, Roman Polanski, remained in London due to visa issues. Charles Manson chose four individuals, including Tex Watson, Susan Atkins, Patricia Krenwinkel, and Linda Kasabian, known as the Manson family, for a heinous mission. That night, under Manson's direction, Tex Watson led Susan Atkins, Linda Kasabian, and Patricia Krenwinkel to the house where music producer Terry Melcher once lived with orders to kill everyone in the house in the most brutal way possible. Terry Melcher, who had previously rejected Manson's music, was the target of the attack, but Manson was unaware that the house had been rented by director Roman Polanski. Initially, they stationed someone outside to monitor, while others cut off the house's power supply. Once they had control, they herded the victims into the living room and brutally murdered them one by one. Watson tied Sharon and Sebring together, but when Sebring resisted, Watson shot him dead on the spot and then stabbed him repeatedly. The other victims suffered similar fates. Police revealed that Sharon Tate even begged the murderers to take her as a hostage and let her give birth before killing her, but her plea was rejected. She endured multiple stab wounds while eight months pregnant, 
with just two weeks until her due date. Inside the house, police found the phrase Helter Skelter written in the victim's blood. Despite the ruthless killing of five people, Manson's followers continued their spree by murdering Leno and Rosemary LaBianca and writing Helter Skelter in blood on the refrigerator. That horrifying night left America trembling and Hollywood shaken. According to media reports, many celebrities fled out of fear of becoming the next victims. Even sports goods stores saw increased sales as people sought self-defense weapons. Among Manson's followers that night was Linda Kasabian, who stood outside as a lookout and later became a key witness against Manson. On December 3, 1969, investigators identified Manson as the mastermind behind the massacre at Sharon Tate's residence. After gathering sufficient evidence, the police issued urgent warrants for the arrest of Charles Manson, Tex Watson, Linda Kasabian, Patricia Krenwinkel, and Susan Atkins. Linda Kasabian decided to testify against Manson in exchange for immunity. On January 25, 1971, the court sentenced Charles Manson and three members of the Manson family, Patricia Krenwinkel, Susan Atkins, and Leslie Van Houten, to death for murder and conspiracy to commit murder. However, in 1972, the death sentences were commuted to life imprisonment without parole. On January 7, 2014, when Charles Manson was 80 years old, he was granted a marriage license by the Kings County authorities in California to marry a 26-year-old woman named after Elaine Burton, also known as Star. Rolling Stone reported in 2013 that Burton began contacting Manson when she was just 17 years old. Since 2007, Burton had spent all of her $2,000 savings from working in a kitchen to move from Illinois to Corcoran, California. Burton claimed herself to be Manson's wife and declared that the two would soon be married. For seven years, Burton visited Manson regularly on weekends and tried everything to get his sentence reduced. Within 90 days of being granted the marriage license, Manson and Burton had to hold the wedding ceremony, otherwise, the license would expire. So, reluctantly, the prison management organized the wedding for the two. On November 19, 2017, the murderer Charles Manson took his last breath in prison at the age of 83. His death marked the end of the life of the most brutal murderer in American history. Truly, this case is very intriguing, with its spiritual aspect, chilling details, and cold-bloodedness of the followers of a notorious cult. How do you feel about this case? Should we cover more similar cases? Leave your comments below.